Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can script almost everything using Anaten. From LinkedIn leads to social media posts to Airbnb listings, you name it and there probably is a dedicated scraper for it. I will show you two methods for scraping. The first one is using Rapid API and the second one is via API. Both deliver the same results but they require a different setup and I'll show you both of them. And now let's start building. The first method I will show you will be using API. So I create a new workflow, API I call it. And we're gonna start this by triggering it manually. Unlike make.com, there are no integrations for API or Rapid API in 9 a so we have to create it ourselves. And we do this by setting up an HTTP request node. And now what needs to be filled in in the URL and what will be the authentication. For this, we go to our API account and I'm going to scrape my YouTube channel. So you type in YouTube channel and show all the results. And now, for example, click on this one. And here you see how much it costs. It's $0.5 for scraping 1,000 videos. And the good thing about API is that you get five dollar free credit every month so normally that should be more than enough for scraping lots of data now go to actors api works with actors you can see them as ai agents you give them a task and they do what you want for this video i will use fast youtube channel scraper and what will i scrape i will scrape my YouTube channel, that's Peter Aistralis. So we can let this run and just click on start and let it run. And after waiting a while, you will get a result. Sometimes this can take a few seconds, but Patience is a good virtue. Oh, we already have it. So scroll down. And here you see the title of the video and the view count. So this is what I need. But how to get the URL that needs to be used in our workflow? We go back to our actor. API has made it very easy for us. When you click here on integrations, and then you select use API endpoints. There you have a bunch of URLs that you can use. So me, I always use run actor synchronously and get data set items. So this means it runs this or this module and it waits to continue to the next module until all the data has been received and there is a result. So I copy this URL. Here it is written, it's a post request, so we have to use this in our HTTP request. So the method is post, and the URL we just paste it here. Do we need an authentication? No. The good thing is the API key that you need is already part of the URL. So there is no need for authentication. But where do we have to enter what we want to scrape? So we go back to our agent. We close this window. And then if you go to input, here you can see what will be scraped, so it's my channel, how many videos you want, how many shorts, how many streams. 
Um, here you have a tab JSON. And this contains everything we want. So copy all of this. And paste it as body in our HTTP request. And here we paste this. And now if we click the step, it's executing this node. And here you have all the data you need. So what can you do next with it? We add another node and we're going to split it out. And what we will split out, um, we need the title and selected other fields. And here we choose the view count. And if we click on the step, now it's nicely organized the way we want it. And now we can put it, for example, in Google Sheets. So we're going to add a new module to it. Google Sheets, append row in sheet. As document, you choose your Excel sheet. Sheet one, okay, sheet one. And title, we're going to put in title and views, oh, views, we're going to take view count. This should be okay. And now if we run this complete workflow and I go to my Google Sheets and have a little bit of patience. And there you have it. You have the title and the amount of views. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to set up. And now let's go to the second method. So we start the same as before. Okay, first rename it to Rapid API. We start the same as before, just by triggering it manually. And then HTTP request. Okay. Now we need to know the URL. We go to <coughs> the Rapid API account. <coughs> excuse me. And YouTube sc scrapers or YouTube. It gives you all. See all. And then you have all the YouTube scrapers. But I've done that before. You've seen it before. So it will be a bit boring. So we're going to scrape some Airbnb. Uh, here you see all the Airbnbs that can be used. I'm going to use this one, Airbnb. <coughs> Setting up the HTTP request is a bit different than with a Rapid API, but once you know it, it's very easy. So we're going to search for location. And when you go to app, here you can choose code snippets and you select HTTP. And here you have all you need, even the Rapid API key. No worries, you can copy it. It will be deleted after this video. So <clears throat> we copy this host, copy. We go back to the workflow. 
https we paste it then we need to copy and paste another thing this stuff gets until the question mark we copy this and we paste it here and let me double check again it's a get method okay step one step two is the authentication this one needs an authentication because there is no integration in line it and we have to select generic credential type the authentication type is header authentication and here already filled it in so if you click on it you have to <coughs> excuse me make sure that the name is x rapid api key so exactly the same as you find here so this is the name and this is the key you have to enter and then it should be okay and now okay we can run this how do we enter what we need so the query is let's say bruce we're gonna choose or get everything from airbnb and bruce and here you see it's successful homes and bruce okay so the query parameter is query and what we have to query is bruce so you go back to your workflow send query parameters the name is has to be exactly the same as in rapid as a rapid api so query and then what we want to query is bruce and now it should be okay and if we click test tab there we have it everything we needed so if you scroll down bruce bruce center bruce and again you can split it out and send it to google sheets or whatever you want so these are the two methods <coughs> excuse me i need to drink something these are the two methods two methods i use for scraping data of the internet um, for me epify is a bit easier to use the results are exactly the same so it's up to you whatever you want if you like this video like it and subscribe to my channel have a nice day bye